Hello. I'm excited to talk about this topic today because I am someone that's lived through it and healed it. Anxiety that provokes bad habits and how to heal them. Well, been there, done that. I actually was, um, let's list a few of these that are very, very common. First, the most common and then the ones that on the spectrum of the different bad habits that anxiety can feed. We go on that spectrum to some more complicated and a little more severe ones. I'd say on that kind of the spectrum of commonality, biting your nails. Raise your hand if you've experienced any of these. I started um, picking, picking some part, your skin, picking your face, picking um, a wound, a scab off prematurely. Raise my hand again. I'll give you my history in a minute. Um, grinding your teeth. I actually just discovered I've been doing that at night, and I have a correction for that as well. And uh, that actually officially bruxism, years of grinding, clenching, tension. See, the anxiety is all built up into your jaw, this part of your mouth, and you grind your teeth. Chewing on things, pen caps, um, putting things in your mouth, having to be chewing, overeating. Eating beyond your appetite. That is a behavior that anxiety provokes. Here's one. Women are really good at this one. Raise your hand. I don't recall that I've done this one a lot for some reason, but I do see it so, it's so common in so many women's lives. Apologizing preemptively. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It, for reasons you don't even need to be saying you're sorry for. It's like, Owning an apology, like you need to apologize for nothing and apologizing for the fact that you want to make sure that you didn't cause anyone else stress. So that over apologetic nature and people pleasing and being super hyper focused on making sure everybody else is okay and neglecting yourself. Here's another one. I don't, I didn't have a lot of that apologizing preemptively in my life, but I do notice it's a lot, a lot. More common in women's lives than men. Talking too much, stammering, overusing, um, 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 or like, 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 you know, really getting stuck. And another one, laughing or giggling a lot while you're talking and because you're nervous, you're anxious, you're nervous, uh, uh, and everything is coming out through that nervous laugh, that nervous giggle. Okay, some that are a little more severe, pulling out your hair or your eyebrow hair, that's called trichotillomania. Trichotillomania. I'm sure some of you know how to say that exactly. And that's a, uh, you'll be doing it without even knowing you're doing it. That's kind of like the nail biting tendency now going to an extreme where you've got to be doing something with your hands. Is the anxiety is provoking this physical response that maybe washing your hands, the things that you go into that's more obsessive compulsive in nature and you just keep needing to do it. Insomnia can go into a more severe spectrum where it's a pattern, sleeping issues. You can't sleep through the night, can't get to sleep, problems with sleeping. And then biting and chewing on your lower lip. So that's kind of like the nail, the teeth grinding and that's gone to another level of actually damaging your physical self. So you're, there's a lot of self um, behavior applied to your own self that's abusive in nature. Now I know in my case, let's go back to, I was a big nail biter and a big picker. My mother would tell me stories of when I was even uh, very, very tiny that I would not let a wound heal. I was, I had a lot of anxiety. Uh, she was not addressing what was causing my need to pick. And that was, I was traumatized. I was being abused as a child. And she was going after the correction of the behavior. And that's the first big misstep in these uh, attempts to change the behavior. Trying to change something that's actually being provoked by something much deeper. Looking at my own journey and healing, I now know that my nail biting, my picking, was a way that I abused myself and I had pent up energy that created anxiety, unhealed emotional energy of fear, shame, anger that had never been addressed that came out as anxiousness that provoked this need to bite my nails or pick at my face and then I couldn't stop. It's like the energy drove the behavior. 
once I was able to clear those deeper set emotions that have been repressed from my childhood, that energy dispelled and I was able to correct. I know, I do not, look how clear my skin is now. And I would, it's interesting that I would still, if I don't have gel tips on my nails, I have a tendency to still pick at them because it's been such a lifelong habit. So I've taken a preventative measure and I do put gel tips to give um, reinforcement to my nails and I don't even, not, no energy there at all. There's no none of that deep emotional energy that's wanting to be released, wanting to find an avenue to be expressed outwardly because that's what's happening. Any of these behaviors that are provoked by anxiety, well, that anxiety is being fed by deeply held repressed emotions. Most likely it's from your childhood. You weren't able to express those emotions in your childhood. You had to keep going through different events that were traumatic to you that actually kept stirring up these feelings you couldn't feel or address or change. You had, you, in many people's lives, they were powerless to the traumas. And so now your body holds this energy, your emotional plane of energy holds it, and it wants to get cleared. And so you'll feel that. Notice when you do your behavior, it's typical that there's something happening in your experience that's causing, it's triggering you. You're getting nervous and you just start the behavior. And so you, there is a way now to heal this. Energy healing is my go-to. I've been practicing it for close to 30 years. 28 to be, no, 29. I think it's 29 years I've been at this. And I'm so excited to offer you one of the most accessible, easy to follow experiences that starts with my Energy Healing Basics Guide. You really want to do the energy healing. It's how you get in there without having to relive the story and all its glorious detail. You don't, talk therapy has its place if you need to talk through some things. But what we're doing with energy healing is really going straight to where that energy is held and being repressed and we're giving it an avenue of expression and release. So you can let that go and you can now be free to form healthy habits. It's very hard to change a behavior that's being provoked by this deeply held emotional energy. It's so much easier to change the behavior when you've cleansed that and cleared it and released it. It's no longer there. And you can just say, I don't need to bite my nails anymore. I'm no longer provoked to do that. I don't have those triggers anymore. So go check out my new energy healing basics guide. It's gonna give you a massive energy healing glossary. I'm gonna introduce you to what energy healing is, how it works and why it's so effective and it's the tool of our time. Then I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna take you through an experience. I'm gonna actually use some of the resources I use in the Energy Healing Center and you're gonna be able to firsthand experience the benefit of it. It's powerful. It's really powerful. And then I'm gonna introduce a self-assessment tool that you're gonna be able to assess yourself and say, here's where I need to start. And then give you a two week free trial that you can start doing your healing. We live in a time of healing. Things are stirred up and getting brought to the surface for us with hardly, you know, blinking an eye. It's like, whoa, you can hardly turn around. Something's triggering you. There's a point in that. We're ready to heal. And we're ready to chart a new course in our life. Let me help you do that. I'm Carol Tuttle. I am an expert healer. I'm the author of those seven books you see sitting behind me, best-selling author. I have sold hundreds and thousands of copies of books over paperback and audio and Kindle and just literally reached hundreds of thousands of people's lives with my books and online courses. And I want to help you. Check it out at healwithcarol.com if you've got these behaviors that then are so shaming because you know you don't feel good about yourself when you're picking at your nails picking at your skin pulling out your hair you're grinding your teeth you're feeling really a lack of confidence when you can't express yourself without stammering and stuttering and uh 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 not getting through clearly you're overeating whatever it is we can clean that all up so you can be in charge of your choices and choose the ones that support your true self. We'll see you at healwithcarol.com. I'm waiting for you right there, right now.